everybody, this is Anna Cass from another Anna Cass Fitness, and it is currently July 14, 2016. I apologize for not recording the last couple of days. It's been uh, incredibly hectic, to say the least. I've had a couple of things going on at work that are out of my control, so I have been pretty much completely immersed in revamping my resume, updating my webpage, uh, networking, just all kinds of different stuff. I'm still employed, do not get me wrong. It's just, you know, life happens, companies upside, company downside, company changes hands. Um, and unfortunately, a lot of the news that I've been hearing has not been great. So I'm pretty much just preparing myself as best as I can. And so I've been very preoccupied just doing adulting things. Um, as for my fitness stuff, the last couple of days, I've taken it uh, easy. I'm still eating the fish. However, I... Uh, Tuesday, I got really upset. Uh, some of the news I got was not fantastic. And I said, you know what? Screw it. I just want to spend time with my friends. And so I went out. I called one of my girlfriends. I was like, hey, my eyebrows are like all wild and caterpillar. Can you like fix my face? So I went over there. I got her a Taco Bell $5 box. I got myself one. I even got her a gift card because, man, she does me a favor. She fixes this up like real good. And I'm like, yeah, you know, so we went over there and I talked to her and I went to her and I felt so much better. I love you, Shannon. You're awesome if you're watching this. Um, yeah, so I had one that one of those days when I actually voluntarily, willingly, <laughs> willing to eat Taco Hell, which is practically a diuretic in my, in my system. I might as well just take a lax, you know, it's like a laxative. It literally is. And sure was afterwards. But at the time, I needed it. I feel so much better. It calmed me down. I've been under a lot of stress. My sleeping has been a little bit wacky. Plus, I think my girly time is coming back up. Mine's like every 20 to 28, 27, 27 days, like on the clock. So I'm gaining a little bit of weight. But again, I'm not worried. I have other priorities in my head right now. Um, I did, however, been encountering some issues. Like I said, I've been trying to join the reserves. And unfortunately, because of my age, I'm encountering some walls. And it's not the recruiter's fault, you know, they are just following the rules and right now the military is downsizing a lot. But unfortunately, even though I did really good in my pre-test and I meet the weight and all the other requirements, unfortunately there really isn't anything available for me at the moment, which makes me extremely sad. Because I've been trying really hard, this has been my goal for two years, not to be in a bodybuilding competition, not to be in a bikini competition, to join the reserves and serve my country the best way that I possibly can under my current circumstances. Um, if it was for me, I would totally go active, but I have responsibilities. I still take care of my mom who happens to have dementia, so I don't have the luxury to be able to just kind of get up and go and go wherever I need to because I am responsible for my mom. So, yeah, so it's one of those things where I'm a little upset and disappointed uh, the last two days, it took me a little while to compose myself because I was so sad over it. Out of all things, that's the one thing that really just devastated me because it literally, it was my drive to go to the gym. I wanted to present myself as best as I could to the recruiter, to the military because I'm such a top sell. I'm a little older. The age thing is a very big thing. Uh, it limits you on what you want to do, especially trying to go, you know, higher, like officer and stuff. There are age limits to that. And I have finally reached that wall where I just, my age is literally limiting me on what I can do. I am talking to one more branch. So unfortunately, Air Force and Army are out. I am talking to Navy, see what they say. If they say, you know, no go, then you know what? It is what it is. I just got to let it go. Or I can, what everybody tells me, go enlisted, which I have a master's degree. And no offense to anybody enlisted. I have the highest respect for all branches in the military all levels of service. My dad was Vietnam, Korea veteran uh, in the army, but it has been voiced to me repeatedly by every person that I met that they're like, it's not very wise for me to go enlist it with my four degrees, including an MBA. It's just, you know, they, they just tell me it's just absolutely silly. Um, so yeah, so that's pretty much where I'm at. Um, so that's why it's taken me a couple of days to pretty much go ahead and record. I tried to record yesterday and I was so upset. I just couldn't speak straight. So that's why I just wanted to take one more afternoon just to kind of see where my mind was at. I'm looking forward to today. My sister's coming into town, so hopefully I can get some footage with her. 
And uh, but yeah, I'm just really looking forward to my next couple of days and just taking it one day at a time. Uh, I still got my roommate in town. He's gonna be around for a few more days. I'm just enjoying him as much as I can. I even went out had a sandwich with him yesterday, Jimmy John's. Why? Cause I don't care. And my time with my friends and my family is more important than losing a pound or two. Which once you know they go back home or they leave, I'll go back on it. Right now, I'd rather have the experience and have a good time and enjoy them. It's a really nice stress reliever, especially with everything that I'm going through right now. So, yeah. So, I'm not to worry about the scale. I'm still maintaining. I'm still tracking my food. And if you guys check out my fitness pal, you see I put the good, the bad, and the real ugly. So, the Taco Bell, you saw that the other day in my fitness pal. I logged it on. I try to be as honest as possible with my freaking diet because I cannot tell somebody else to go, Hey, you got to be honest with your my fitness pal and then I go about and I don't do it like I gotta finish doing my yesterday it's like my last my yesterday that's some proper English I gotta finish doing my logs for yesterday so you guys can see that I record everything even on my good days and my bad days we're not we're not perfect you cannot be perfect 100% of the time um this morning's workout was great I was exhausted uh because I'm not like my body hasn't been we I went from working out every day to not working out at all for three weeks so now i'm picking it back up so i've been doing three days on one off two days on one off but this week because my sister's going to be in town i'm doing four days so today is the fourth day and i am feeling every bit of it so i'm working my body way back up my leg is pretty much 98 percent healed i'm still being a little more cautious and get a little bit more time before i can start running again because even though I know I can start running. I still feel it was just that last little bit where it could go wrong and I could just go backwards. So I'm just making sure this leg is fully healed. Like I said, it is not a threatening injury. It's just a repetitive motion injury and it just needed to just be left the math alone. So yes. So but other than that, everything's going well. Uh, just you know, just when it rains, it waterfalls. And that's pretty much where I'm at right now. And I just need to take a breather. Uh, I don't like coming to camera and just being upset and just taking a dump on everybody's parade. I don't like to just sit there and just cry and do whatever, you know, stupid stuff. So anyway, guys, it's been Anna Cass from another Anna Cass Fitness. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Tumblr. I'm also on bodybuild.com, my fitness file, and Fitbit. And don't forget to check out my GoFundMe. If you cannot donate towards my cost, at least share my story. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.